Let's talk about the ways how you can boost your sales, your revenue on Fiverr. And I'm gonna go over these examples since I think these are a very powerful ways how you can do this. And many times people thinking too complicated about the ways how they can do this. It's honestly, things are very simplified when you have your Fiverr profile, your gig, it makes things relatively easier compared where you have to create your own website you have to work on the funnels because on fiverr as you know you have your reviews you have your reputation so once you already have some sort of a credibility it's going to make it a bit easier for you to sell it going forward so the first thing i would like to go over the pretty much the program that you can be Part of the program, right, Seller Plus, as you know. So Seller Plus, they have been changing it. They have been adding a lot of value. And one of the great ways, in my opinion, if you join a Seller Plus, which is a subscription, of course, that you have to pay to Fiverr in order to get those benefits. But in my case, I think there is a great return on that. There's definitely a big return on investment that you will pay to Fiverr to have these features. So first of all, when you go here in your program page, you can go to the coupons section. Here you'll be able to see Fiverr has two types of promotions now. The first one is the promotions, first time buyer promotions, and the second one is retention coupons. So for the first time buyer promotions, it actually does work really well because you can set your gig to be, for example, 10% discount, right? And then eventually, people who are coming to your page for the first time, they will see this sort of a pop-up where it will say enjoy 10% off for your purchase, right? Things like that. So that will encourage them to make a purchase, to take that action step. In my case, I do this most of the time at the beginning of the month and I have by the end of the first week, I already have 10 orders here and this feature is closed for the remaining of the month. So that's kind of the rules you have that you can open up once you get to the first 10 orders uh, from that uh, promotion, then the feature turns off for this month. Or if you don't have uh, 10 orders, it will just run it for the day that you set, right? So you can set the dates here as well. So this is one great thing. Uh, this might not be available to everyone, but eventually it will be for the Seller Plus members. And I think that's definitely a great great way to have that boost. The second one is the coupons. So they actually made a recent update on the coupons where you can actually have a little bit more, uh, I would say transparent uh, and more flexible ways how which coupons to which buyers you wanna send, right? You can be, have a little bit of a history of that. You can see if they have um, redeemed the coupons, if they have, uh, when they actually place the order for the last time, right? And you can filter that for the last 12 months, uh, 180 days, uh, 90 days, 60 days, and 30 days, right? And you can also search for the buyers, which is very, very powerful. So this is a great ways how you can boost your sales within the platform. You can also have, of course, promoted gigs is one of them, right? But it might be sometimes, of course, more trickier, right? Because uh, it depends on your service, depends on your, uh, if it's a recurring, if it's a high ticket, if it's a low ticket, but those things are great because if, if you turn them on, you, you can pretty much guarantee that you will have some increase in your sales. So this is one way that you can do these sort of things. The other ways, if you think about, let's say if you have a client on Fiverr, if you have, you know, people are ordering, very powerful way, and you know this in anything that you do, Fiverr, your SMMA outside of Fiverr, it's following up following up and reminding about potentially doing another promotion, uh, campaign, etc. right? So as you know, on Fiverr, uh, the subscriptions is implemented, but this is a relatively new feature. It hasn't been before. So it's still, people are not still aware of subscriptions, right? But when you sign them up on your SMMA directly, like you're using Stripe, you're using PayPal, right? You're using other payment processing. Uh, of course, they will stay recurringly until they wanna cancel, right? On Fiverr, you can still do this effectively. And I think that's the future going forward that they will be improving the subscription feature and making it more uh, possibly flexible and you know adding some more things there but for now what you can do once you finish your order with the buyer you can do the follow-up right so I'm doing this uh, actually 
quite often for the buyers that are I uh, see that they're coming back so here you can see actually uh, the buyer that I have sent him a message like hey I will send you a new offer to continue thank you very much he actually mentioned that before right so uh, and it's good because sometimes the buyers are not going to be placing the order straight away from your gig page right you need to remind them and when you send them the offers like this they already have their payment information on file with Fiverr right so it makes it relatively easier to just click accept and they get charged right away right so I highly encourage you to when you work with a buyer to try to build that relationship you don't need to you know hunt for more yes you need to grow your you know business on Fiverr as a freelancer as an agency right but still you can have a, a lot of existing clients already that you have and you can have a lot more business with them right so you can ask them about what sort of other things that they are interested in right so you need to really build those relationship because at the end of the day relationship with buyers that's crucial that's everything because we're gonna go into the second the other strategy which I'll mention but the first when you build that relationship first of all you know the buyer have more trust they will be staying with you for a long time and then second when you start reminding of course you know they are busy they have other things going on they have their businesses right uh, you know they're they're busy with just remembering about you and placing an order they think maybe the order is actually going right so it is important to do the follow-up with an offer you don't need to spam you don't need to like you know hey like please accept this don't do this but you can just send a friendly message like hey uh, it's been a pleasure working with you uh, if you're interested to continue our collaboration to continue to so we can maximize our growth our exposure so we can reach our goals happy to send you a new offer and we can continue to do though so right so this is a great way this is a friendly way it's not aggressive it's not really you're not trying to over push them right and again the offers are key because when you send this doesn't matter if they're in the app or on the computer it's really nice to accept it makes it very easy to accept them because they already have the payment information file and you just don't need to ask them probably for requirements again because you already have the information from the previous order right so I'm doing this for clients that I see that want to work in the long term and this has been bringing me at least thousand to three thousand between one thousand to three thousand dollars per month of extra income by just doing those follow-ups and just sending message I'm not trying to over push so if they don't respond to me you know let's say I can follow up in four or five days if they don't respond I'm not gonna bother them too much because they're probably busy right but usually you can follow up once so you can send them the when you finish the work you can send them the offer you can send a message and then you can follow up in three four days just to see if they're interested or not if they don't respond to you I wouldn't bother because you don't want to be spamming uh, them right and they might be busy they might be having other things going on so you can always uh, you can always come back later or they can come back later to you the other things I highly encourage you to use labels right so labels is a great way to keep things on the right order right so you know that you follow up with them you know that you send them an offer you know that you need to maybe reach out next month to them or things like that so I highly encourage you to use this feature because this will help you uh, in the long term when you have more messages more people messaging you to sort those orders right sometimes for example when I have agencies message me I put a label as agency because I know maybe in the future I can reach out to them and we can work something in that in that direction the other thing is the agencies right so I have agencies that I work with and they're using me as a white label solution right and this is another great way to scale your services because um, I find it extremely important to build those relationships for agencies it makes things uh, you know kind of like a lot easier for you so if you have done a good work for the agency they most likely gonna refer more and more clients to you so they're gonna be ordering more more uh, services from you for their clients this is another great way and I highly encourage you to really try to build those relationships with the agencies because it could be a very good uh, recurring income for you it could be you don't need to communicate with all these new clients right you always have communication with your agency owner right or the person who represents the agency and you just keep up with the communication with them it makes it easier and at the end of the day you know you can be building for example I have several of those connections with agencies and imagine you have five three to five agencies and then each agency is bringing you like maybe I don't know five to seven clients per month 
I mean, that's already a great, a great stable sort of, uh, you know, income. And at the same time, you don't need to rely too much on the Fiverr search, on the algorithm, on finding new clients, right? So I highly encourage you to, if you see the agency, if you see that their agency, ask them about what's their agency website, ask them about how many active clients they have, because there's a lot of people who are saying, oh, I'm starting an SMMA, I wanna use you, I'm gonna pay you a percentage, I'm gonna pay you your gig price, uh, can you do this work? I usually just kind of like, when I ask them like, what's your website, what's how many clients you have, right? And then if I see that they're just starting out, they don't have any clients, I usually don't work with them because uh, as me, as, as I remember myself, and there's a lot of, I, I feel like there's a lot of, on the, on the YouTube, you know, you see from Iman Gaji, you know, people who are influencing others to start their agencies and they have no idea how to start the agency, how to run the agency, right? Their goal is to like, I'm starting an agency, I need to find a contractor, outsource it to that contractor and that's it, right? And that's a big issue because when you even outsourcing, in my opinion, you need to be even more in control. You need to be like even more involved in this compared if you're doing this yourself, right? So that's why it's very, very tricky to just you know, if you have this message like this, usually I wouldn't really spend my time and energy into it because it's not gonna work out in the end, right? I had this experience before and it's just not healthy for your agency, for your Fiverr career. Okay, so that's one of the options. The other option, which is also very powerful, besides sending in offers and sending, you can also send a subscription offer, but just be careful because when you send here as a subscription offer, the problem is, for example, if I say my gig, you can do this as a subscription. When you, when a lot of clients are on the Fiverr app, right? Because Fiverr tries to push their app a lot. So the problem with the Fiverr app is that they cannot accept subscriptions in the Fiverr app. It doesn't support yet. So I'm, I, I really can't wait until they're gonna support it. But for now, it makes it very complicated to do so because it asks them to log in through the web browser and they just, makes it very complicated, right? So I will just suggest to send one time offer because it's easier to accept. They can do this on the app, they can do this on the computer and you the conversion is much, much better as well. And you can just remind them again next month, etc. right? So that's one of the options I have. The other options besides the agencies, besides that route, what I suggest is to build a referral program, right? And of course on Fiverr, you might think, oh, it's gonna be difficult because I cannot pay uh, you know, that sort of a person, right? If they refer me, I need to maybe pay them commission and I cannot do this on Fiverr, right? You don't need to think that you need to always pay in order to, for the referrals to work. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't need to be like that. Referrals could be built very powerfully and you probably already have, if you've done a good job, if clients are happy, they will be referring you people, right? They'll be, you'll be getting messages like, hey, um, whatever name you are, you is, uh, you, you work with my friend Josh or my colleague recommended me the, your service, right? Blah, blah, blah. Or I came from the recommendation from, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you will get these messages eventually. And the thing is with uh, referrals, you can build something powerful where you would say, let's say your long-term clients, you'll be like, hey, I had this referral program where you can refer your you know, friends, your business partners, your, um, you know, anyone that they know who runs their business or need help with whatever you do. And you will get a discount and your friend is gonna get a discount as well. That way you make things equal and it's gonna be motivating for that person to bring the person and for, let's say, someone else to come because they will get a discount. So you wanna make sure you provide equal opportunity. That meaning that, you don't want to have like, okay, I will give you a discount and your person buys for the full price because it's going to be a bit, it might still work, but for the healthy relationship and for this to scale, you just need to provide them equal. So for example, your, uh, I don't know, your service costs 20, uh, $200, right? And then you provide them, uh, let's say 15% each of them. So it makes things better for your client which been ordering for you and it makes things as well more interesting for that potential new client that he's going to refer to you or she right so this could be very powerful you need to think about those sort of partnerships referrals word of mouth things but you need to make it clear for clients because if they don't know about this they're not going to be promoting that so you need to make sure that you say hey like you know i appreciate you working with you um i was i wouldn't let's say if you're interested for uh, 
you can say I have built a referral program if you're interested I'm willing to give you a discount if you refer someone and that person who is coming from you is gonna get a discount as well and you can also track these things pretty well you can have when they submit the requirements you can have a, a field where it says who referred you or you know provide a refer like you can just basically put this field in the requirements and they can just type right type the name or the person blah 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 right so and you can track things that way as well which makes it very very uh, organized right so but this is very powerful strategy I have used it before I'm gonna be actually doing something different with that pretty much what I have discussed with you and happy to share this more how it will be working and I'm happy to also share the other strategies because the other strategies is also possible but these strategies are first of all the the first strategies they are done inside of Fiverr so you don't need to do anything you just need to use these features and that's why maybe Fiverr um, seller plus could be something that you might be interesting more and then the second is just using your your existing clients that you're already getting and just making them more recurring making building those relationships and then offering that referral program that they can do so they can refer people to you you give them a discount and that way you can also uh, you know they can also get a discount as well and the other thing which you can do is that you can use the power of the bring your own business BYOB program it has not been updated for a long time hopefully Fiverr is gonna do this in the near future but that's how you can also do you can build a specific offer for example for a specific client and you can send them the personalized link so you can use it bring your own business and you can basically integrate your referral program into this and that way things are going to be even better because that way you can create a customized offer you can basically send them your client that link the client will refer people using that link right and that way you can track it very easily because you will see that this order is coming from them and I think things are gonna be super like going extremely well for you plus you can also keep the commission right so Fiverr bring your own business you keep the 20% commission Fiverr is gonna be paying that 20% as an affiliate for you so you can basically get that 20% back if they're new to Fiverr they have never used Fiverr before so guys feel free to share your thoughts uh, your strategies because I believe there's so many strategies outside of just like okay posting on social media uh, sending bunch of cold emails like there's just so many other ways that you can do this but people are just not thinking about them right and they just complain like oh I'm not getting orders I'm getting uh, you know uh, sales but there are just a lot of strategies that you can still implement around it and I think they could be extremely powerful thank you so much for watching just keep in mind I do have a newsletter which I'm gonna be pushing more sharing my thoughts sharing my documenting my Fiverr journey so if you're interested you can obviously see it in the description below also if you want to join the course I have it's completely free I made it for free uh, it was paid course before but I decided like just let's make it free let's help as many of you who are going through this journey who are thinking to go on Fiverr who are thinking to start the SMMA or going through social media marketing agency that may be very 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 helpful thank you so much for your support and see you in the next video